Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, I had a crazy idea and I was thinking, can I take a paper shredder and grind up copper wire? I don't know. <laughs> am I a genius or am I just mad? Or am I a mad genius? Hmm, probably just mad. Anyways, I cut up a bunch of wire see it right here I got about a pound's worth and this is all like 16 18 20 gauge wire really small stuff so anyways I'm gonna crank this up and see what happens just warn you if you're wearing earphones or earbuds or whatever this does get a little loud so you might want to turn your volume down all right oh yeah safety glasses let's get to this Okay, y'all don't want to see me do every single piece of wire, so I'm just going to do a little fast forward motion and burn through this wire. All right. Okay, so it's taking a little longer than I'd like. I'm just going to finish this off and then I'll get back to y'all okay so I finished up doing all that wire let's have a gander at what happened get this out of the way huh I pour it in a pan here you can get a better look there's a lot of small pieces but I see some oh there's some copper get that copper out of there Yeah, so you can see there's a lot of small pieces, but there's still some bigger ones. I think that's when they they went straight in rather than laying down flat. I think what I'm going to do is pick out these longer pieces, and then I'm going to run these smaller bits back through it. So hang tight, y'all. Okay, so you see I picked out all those longer pieces and just left with some short ones. I'm going to run it back through the shutter. Gonna get loud again, y'all. All right, let's see what it looks like now. Oh yeah. Come on, calm down. Pour that back in the pan. And we're still there. I can see a bunch of loose copper. Let's run this thing back through the machine. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah. Copper pit bit sit down in there. Okay. There it is. Now I do want to just be clear. I'm just having fun here. Like, does this make sense to do? Probably not. But you know what? I don't know. Let's give this a sift and see what kind of copper we got separated. Okay. Let's give this stuff a sift through this brass screen right here. I see a bit of copper. I'd be curious to see um, how much is actually there. Now, you know, I suppose if you're a person who melts your own copper, 
I don't know. Maybe you would want to try this. I don't know. Again, I just like to have fun. And maybe I'm a little bit mad. <laughs> nah. I don't know. Okay. I see a lot of copper down inside there. You know, I need something to... Oh, I know what I'll pour this stuff into. I think it's pretty much well sifted there. I'll just put it back into this bin here. If I can do this without making a mess. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. No mess. All right, let's see what we got. Wow, that's pretty impressive. You know, I still see um, little bits of insulation there. So I'm going to put this in water and see if I can float that stuff up to the top and separate it a little bit more. But hey, man, look at that. That's copper, man. I mean, you would never strip that small gauge of wire. Maybe I am a genius. <laughs> I'm just having fun, y'all. Okay. So I got a bucket of water here. Now I'm going to pour my copper in there and hope that insulation bits. Can you see the insulation bits? I think y'all can. Let's see if I can make it float. Okay. Get something to stir it with. Yeah, it's interesting is, I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but some of the, the copper is is actually floating. It must be so small. Okay. Well, I see that a lot of the insulation is floating. Some of it is sinking. But you know what? If you're going to melt your own copper, that little bit of waste in there, that'd be no big deal at all. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is try to pull out any of the little insulation bits out of there, get this copper dried, and then we'll get a weight on it and talk about how crazy I am. <laughs> all right, y'all. See you in a bit. All right, so I got all this stuff dry. Um... There's still a little bit of the stuff left that's got some in there. But I figured, you know, let's weigh this up and see what it is. Get the scale turned on. Tear this little container out. And see what we got. Five point four ounces. So that's really not too bad. You know, I, I think this material would be great for melting, doing sand casting, maybe making small coins. I'm thinking about getting into that. I like to make small coins and maybe do giveaways in the future. And I'm actually, I'm hoping to find an even bigger shredder. This one is a 10 page shredder. I'm hoping to find like a 16 page shredder and do some more modifications. And if that does happen, I will most certainly share with y'all. So I just want to thank you all for watching. Uh, please subscribe. I'm about just a little over 100 subscribers away from 1,000 right now. So yeah, man, I'm just so thankful for all of you. Uh, God, I just thank you for everything, God. Lord, I pray that you will bring rain to the wildfires in Canada. I pray that you will protect the men and women who are putting these fires out. Please bring them back home safely to their families. Please protect the homes and the people and all the animals. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, my scrapping friends. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little experiment. And I hope to see you in the next video. All right, y'all. Take care.